is up YouTube it is Ashley I am back with another video it has been a little bit of a wait for this one but I have been a busy little bee um so today I'm just gonna film with you guys a get ready with me um basically just gonna talk with you guys have a chit chat with you guys let you guys know what's been going on in my life and yeah that's just about it so let's get on in with the video so, I feel completely stupid. Don't wait, judge me for this. But, I just basically did my whole entire face of makeup. And didn't even film it. So, we're going to continue on. I still have quite a bit of steps. But, as you guys can see, I am basically done with my makeup. Um, I'm just going to talk with you guys as I get ready. So, I'm not really tripping that. I didn't film the rest of that. But, that's okay. Um, what has Ashley been up to? Well, I can tell you guys this. I've been working nonstop. I got a full-time job in the mornings and a part-time job in the afternoons. And I am a very, very busy girl as is. So I've been highly stressed out from working and stuff. I've been really stressed out from working, actually. And... I can tell you guys this right off the bat, my morning job is so easy, like, a 13-year-old could do the job I have to do in the morning. Um, it does get complicated sometimes because you are working with kids, and you have to be repeated, and these kids are the kids that need, like, extra help and stuff in class. So, it can become frustrating, but it's like a babysitting job, you know, and I've been babysitting since I was 13. Um, and I've been, I used to tutor this kid while I was 13, and so yeah, so to me this job's so easy, like, I don't even know why, like, a teacher, I was trying to help this teacher in a class, like, pass out papers and stuff, she's like, oh no, that's not your job, you don't need to do that, and I was literally there for 30 minutes sitting there, just doing absolutely nothing for 30 minutes, I was like, no, no, it's fine, you know, you got I'm being paid to be here. And she's like, she was like, yeah, but that's not your job description. Your job description is just to keep your eye out on this kid. No. Well, I want to help you out because I'm being paid to do nothing, it seems like. And a lot of people would like that. So if you, if you like being paid just to help out kids with, like, little things like math and reading and just maybe basically behavior issues too as well go become a paraprofessional because it's easy for me um my afternoon job is a fast food job and I do like working there I enjoy working there that's why I haven't quit another reason why I haven't quit is because I need a job or I need a car I need a car not a job I need a car and I need to be moved out, and I need to have tuition money. My tuition is going to be like 9000 and that's exactly what I'm trying to get, 9000 I'm applying for grants and stuff, too, to help me out. But I just basically want to do all this on my own. I don't want to pull out student loans. And some of you guys can say I'm crazy for doing that, and that, like, you know, a lot of people do underestimate me. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of people do underestimate me by my dreams and my plans and like a lot of people have told me that I'm not going to be able to do it I'm not going to succeed like that and you know I'm not letting that get to me because nobody knows what I've been through as a child besides me and like two other people know what I've been through and how I grew up and I've been living off of the state since I was like eight I've been living off the state, you know, growing up in a poor household community. And to me, this is my time to just do it on my own. I, I didn't, like, growing up, I didn't like going to school and them handing me bags of clothes. And, like, they would sit there and come with different payment options. I didn't like that. As a kid, it made me feel like, wow. You know, it made me feel, like, sad because I knew that there was other people out there who had it way worse than what I had it. 
I know that now too as well that a lot of people do have it worse than what I did and to me you know I don't need the help student student loans too to me are is a very bad idea because this history teacher I know that I had he still paid off his student loans for like another 10 15 years and he, you know, to me, that's not that's not what my goal is. My goal isn't to be in debt right out right off of college, right out of college. My goal is to be making money right out of college. I want to see my bank account go up, not so much down right after college. So, you know, when people say that I'm not gonna make it, I don't let that get to me because I know that I am gonna make it my own terms. It's just going to take time, and people have to understand that it is going to take me some time to get where I need to be, but hopefully in five years, I'm done with college, and I'm saving enough to get a house, and I am starting off with my plans for my future. I'm sorry, I haven't been telling you guys what I'm doing. I'm, I just put on mascara, and now I'm putting on my sugar scrub. Um. This looks the one that I showed you guys on my last video. I've been using it non stop. It worked that good. Yeah. And my business is going to be based off of the beauty community. I don't know if I mentioned that. I probably did it. But yeah, it's going to be based off of the beauty community. I can't talk today because my nose is plugged, it's getting in the way. Anyways, that's just basically what I want to do with my life is stay in the beauty realm. I want to give people tips, tricks, and advice, and not to mention, <sighs> I can't even say that to you guys because what if I don't make it, you know? Like, what if I can't get where I want to be in 10 years? But hey, in 10 years, Ashley, future Ashley, come back to this video. What is it? Today is Saturday the 22nd. Is it the 22nd? Okay, in 10 years, Ashley, come back to this video. And if you made it where you're at, where you want to be, just know I am super proud of you. Yes, this is a message for future Ashley right now. Because if I really get to where I want to be, like exactly where I want to be in 10 years, just know I will have a happy life. And just know I would be living a comfortable life. But that's if, if, if all else fails, I'll just stay where I'm at and be a teacher for the rest of my life. No, I'm saying. Um, that is something that I do want to do. So having this job in the mornings, uh, does give me that experience that I wanted in high school. Um, I wanted to be a math teacher, high school math teacher, just cause I like helping people you know I like giving advice I like teaching them new things you know I like that spark that I see in kids' eyes once I say you know can you figure this out and looking at them figure it out on their own for the first time it's like yes you know that makes me feel good but ultimately my heart has always been set on makeup and having this morning job just gets that out you know like I've already figured out that I definitely don't want to be working for a school um, just because, you know, I'm not going to be happy there for the rest of my life. That's the truth. That's the honest truth. I'm not going to be happy if I'm working at a school for the rest of my life. I'm paying off some moisturizer on my lip. My lips are dry. And this is the same moisturizer that I showed you guys in the last video too. I just couldn't find my chapstick. Otherwise, this is another go-to for me. <gasps> I wish. <sighs> I am thankful right now. Oh my gosh. You guys should have seen that. My heart stopped for a second. <sighs> oh, baby. This is my baby right here. This is the palette I used on my eyes today. It came out really soon stinking good too. I like I like this palette. This is like one of my favorite palettes to use. But thankfully that didn't get abused. I mean it got abused but it didn't get like cracked or anything. It's the ultimate goal right there. I'm gonna go in with my lipstick now. 
Yeah, that's just all that's been going on. Um, you know. I am currently in the mix of, like, figuring out a few videos for October. Uh, definitely not going to have any makeup tutorials up that this uh, up in October. But it is going to be based off of SFX makeup or, you know, some glam Halloween looks. So you guys should stay in tune for that. And if you guys are totally down to see that, go ahead, like, and comment down below what you guys want to see. And give me an idea. But, yeah. I do, I do also have already some video ideas planned for, uh, November as well, and if you guys didn't know, my birthday is in November, I'm gonna finally be 19 in like two months, I'm sorry, I'm so concentrated for so long. Now, I will take my favorite NYX lipsticks. These aren't my favorite lipsticks. I have three, three different shades of them right here. I, and I do have like two more somewhere in my vanity. These are ultimately my favorite lipsticks to use and I do stay more in the neutral natural tones because no they want to see a girl with purple lipstick actually I'm just playing I was totally down to wear purple lipstick today I was seriously going to but with my outfit it wasn't gonna match and I didn't want to get all you know glamorous and stuff for a movie so yeah That's my boyfriend right now. He texts me 24-7. No, I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not playing. He does text me a lot, but, you know, he's cool. Alrighty. I am done getting ready, and I'm sorry that you guys couldn't see the beginning of this video, but honestly, I was just talking about the same stuff that I just talked with you guys about, and... This is just how my makeup came up for today. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I am definitely going to have more videos out in October. And they are going to be much better edited, hopefully, and much better in general, I am hoping. Um, yeah. And so thank you guys for listening to me rant about my life because it's just crazy. It's a crazy time. But I am excited for what's to come. So you guys have a great day. Thank you. Bye.